Well, there appears to be a sigh of relief there taking place in the southwestern tip of England. The summit of atmosphere seems to be just as warm as the weather there. And the U.S. taking a more cooperative role than in recent years also made a difference. Kim Dami has more. No masks, but with a plenty of elbow bumps, laughter and warm greetings, this year's G7 was as lively as ever. After greeting one another on a specially built wooden gangway on the Atlantic seaside, the leaders and guests have put on big smiles for a socially distanced family photograph. It is genuinely wonderful to see everybody in person. I can't tell you what a difference it makes. Though bombarded by the press, the leaders were at ease in their partition-free conference rooms with some lighthearted moments like U.S. President Joe Biden jokingly telling journalists to leave the leaders alone and go swimming. Many observers have said the atmosphere was also brighter with the new U.S. administration as a more cooperative partner. When asked whether America is back, President Biden turned to his French counterpart, President Macron. The friendly vibe this time contrasts with the summit in Quebec three years ago, where Trump and Macron had some tense handshake battles. Supporting their husbands on the global stage, the first ladies, many of whom met for the first time in Cornwall, also took time to get to know one another. At the American First Lady's invitation to visit the U.S., South Korea's First Lady Kim Jong-suk said she gladly accepted, and Kim also said it was nice to meet the Japanese Prime Minister's wife, Mariko Suga. Things were pleasant on the second day of the summit, too, with a privately held beach barbecue dinner where Prime Minister Johnson's one-year-old stole the hearts of the guests. Kim Dami, Arirang News.